Aries, getting to know the creator behind the content, y'all. Um, my husband, the wonderful Mr. Ryan, is going to be the one that is interviewing me this evening. So you guys, uh, so y'all could get to know me a little bit more. Um, I've done this here and there throughout uh, the time that I've been streaming. Um, but I'm about to throw the Y series out on YouTube and uh, I kind of I kind of need to have everything in one stream um because uh i've had a lot of content over over the past uh couple years so y'all are you guys ready uh alerts are turned off for the duration of the stream so things uh can be uninterrupted uh but welcome on in um i know i'll have some of my black belts in chat welcoming everybody in as well as we do this and uh i appreciate you thank you so much just not this one love my black belts uh so d thank you for the like thank you for the share as well uh i have heard uh the missed numbers while counting <laughs> i know right um so we're just gonna kind of dive into it we'll be live for a little bit uh throughout uh anything if you guys have any questions uh you're free to drop them in the chat at any time there will be a q a at the very end of the stream as well uh so y'all you guys ready i know i am go for it young lady you started out well you you you, have, you have the questions okay um <laughs> oh. your, 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 your background info so why so how old were you when you started playing no this one yeah how do i ask you're supposed to do the intro and then i ask the other question you're supposed to ask it but okay i got it he's being a goober over here and acting like he doesn't know what to do all right, y'all. So basically, I'm going to start out with a little bit of a background and for uh, information um, about myself that uh, some of y'all know, um, I am actually a uh, I, I'm a crew member at a deli. Um, it's called McAllister's. I work in the kitchen. Um, I used to be a manager over the past like seven to 12 years. Uh, for different restaurants i decided to take some time away and uh take a step back because a lot of the things i was doing with restaurants was taking time away from what i really truly enjoy and this is my content creation spending uh time with my husband my family my friends and uh i i couldn't be more happier that i found a job that allows me to work during the daytime uh to where i get to enjoy what i do at the night uh i'm married as you guys know uh some of y'all know that i've been married this december for 10 years we've been together for 14 years total uh we have two dogs and a cat which they actually all three made appearances on stream last night and uh what's up mikey hi mystic uh so i that's pretty much a little bit about me um I I'm a nerd. I love Harry Potter, Pokemon. I uh, collect Funko Pops. I uh, collect gaming consoles. So I pretty much do. I pretty much do a lot of different things. And uh, it's I don't know. I what else? What else is there to really really share at the moment? So I have to say, Griffin and Ryan during a bear attack. Who would you pick? Would My you, husband. Would you really though? <laughs> It would be very, very hard, but my my husband, I love you, Griffin. I don't know where he is, but it'd be my husband. Um, but that's a little bit about me, a little bit about uh a little bit of my intro background, y'all. Just a little bit. How old were you when you started playing your first video game? So y'all, I started playing video games. Um <laughs> Mikey says I'm lying. <laughs> uh, that's a fact. No so serious note though um i started playing video games uh back when i was oh geez i would have to look up the year and i didn't even look it up the year uh it was when pokemon came out actually i had the game boy color and had pokemon red come out and my mom knew i loved pokemon for everything and uh love you d um for everything pokemon and uh, she knew i needed something like i wanted something they surprised me i got my game boy color got the pokemon red 
And uh, that was my very first uh, video game. And I think from there, it got me uh, It got me going. So I was 10. I was 10 years old when I started playing some video games. Wait, so your first video game was Pokemon? My very first game was Pokemon. Oh, I didn't, that's something I didn't even know, for real. Your first game was not Mario? No. And where were you at? <laughs> my first video game was Mario when I was like five. So, I mean, I, I might have played it a little bit, but my very first own video game was Pokemon Red on the Game Boy Color. I know, right? Man, I feel so old now. Oh, thank you, Mikey, for throwing that year in. Now uh, you're making me feel even older, sir. So you said your first game was Pokemon, right? Uh, yep. Uh, Mystic said Red was in 96. Okay, well, making me feel even older. <laughs> Thanks, Mystic. Oh, so yeah, it was uh, Pokemon Red, and then uh, shortly after that, uh, I I ended up getting um. Okay, so where was I? I mean, shortly right around that time, I also got my PlayStation Two, which made me fall in love with PlayStation. Uh, I I literally started playing the Harry Potter games uh, a little bit after like fourth grade. Or not fourth grade, uh, seventh grade. I started reading them, started playing them right around that time. So it was kind of like a mix and match. So like, I think the big craze back in school was right around fifth and sixth grade. The Pokemon cards, Pokemon games. So uh, yeah, I uh, that's that was my very first game. Did you ever have a Sega Genesis? Sega Genesis. I did not, but the daycare I used to uh, go to after school. I played on the Sega Genesis, and that's where I fell in love with uh, Mortal Kombat. Right. Yeah, and played a little bit of Simba and st like Lion King and stuff. Sonic was a lot of fun growing up, but it was more so uh, more so Mortal Kombat when I did uh, Sega. So uh, right. through the time I was in six. <laughs> oh, Sheesh. making me feel old going that far back, thinking of uh, different games. Uh, what would you say your favorite memory of as before streaming? Favorite all-time gaming memory before streaming, I would probably have to say, now, a lot of y'all know, and if you don't know, I love a lot of games. So it's very hard for me to just choose one game. Uh, and I think one game memory that I will always cherish is Let's Go Pikachu. Had that game, absolutely loved it on the Nintendo 64 because you actually got to talk to Pikachu. And sometimes Pikachu listened and sometimes Pikachu did not listen. And when Pikachu did not listen, you yelled at Pikachu. Uh, in that that didn't help because Pikachu was like, huh? What? I still I still don't understand you. And then you wanted to yell even more. And I remember I was at my sister's house and uh she was in an apartment at that time, uh, with her uh, soon-to-be husband, and uh, I remember spending the night over, hooking up the Nintendo 64, Christmas tree was up, it was right around Christmas time, and I'm playing it, and all I remember her was busting out laughing, because me just being as little as I was, yelling at this TV screen, and she literally is like, okay, you're done playing, let's go bake cookies. Mm. And so, that was one of my all-time, that is one of my favorite uh, memories, just because it was one of my... Uh, fun times of uh playing and being around like with my sister and uh when my sister got injured playing video games and playing pokemon snap with her i kind of accidentally found my birthday present and she's like um don't tell your mom this <laughs> so never told mom we kept it a secret and uh i got it for my birthday so serious question did you burn the cookies did you burn them no okay good I was a kid. I wasn't in charge of the oven oh, timer. That's, that's probably the good thing. <laughs> we made right we made caramel filled cookies. Ooh. So one of my that it, I loved it. It was one of my uh, one of my nice memories growing up. Don't burn cookies. Okay, uh, you, <laughs> you need to call your sister then and let her know the secret. You secret do that. Is, secret is don't touch the oven. Uh no, uh that's a timer. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> Um, a, uh, what would be your favorite game of all time besides Fortnite? Fortnite is definitely not one of my all-time <laughs> favorites. <laughs> it's fun to play, I will say that one. But, um, so, 
I think what I would have to say is uh, of all my games that I have played through uh, from being a child all the way up until now, uh, I, I've kind of referenced this and we are actually replaying it now. And this is a game series that uh, I will be finishing actually tomorrow night. We are completing the very first one uh, again. And it's The Last of Us. Uh, the Last of Us, which is from the Naughty Dog series, The Last of Us 1 and 2. Uh, very, very hard hitting uh, with a lot of different life situations, a lot of different things that goes on in those games. And you try to like find yourself uh, as Ellie being a child and you have Joel that had and gone through his thing. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, that way, if anybody hasn't played these games, or seen these games you can experience for yourself as well uh but it's one of the game franchise and sa game series that i really truly cherish and uh i just i love what they've done with the games um i would have to say that's right there with my top now that's very very hard though because i absolutely loved horizon zero dawn oh horizon zero dawn i connected on a very deep personal level uh, just because she was taken in by someone that was not legit family, like was not blood, was not related. She didn't know who she was. She didn't know what she was going to do. She was trained to take down machines. She was done with different things. With me, some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know, but I was adopted. Um, I, was, uh, I was adopted when I was in fourth grade. And uh, I I had gone through some uh, some foster care. I had three uh, three different homes, uh, but my mom I I got adopted, and uh, I don't know for like Horizon I connected with so much at a different kind of level. So that's that's probably one of my all time favorites, uh, right there along with uh, Last of Us. And uh, it's kind of hard because I love Zelda, I love my Pokemon, I love so many different things, but. My heart holds true with a lot of RPG games because for my stance on video gaming is you can connect on a whole different level and a whole different platform and it helps you see a different character and you actually put yourself in their shoes, in their gameplay, uh, while, well, during your gameplay and you're able to enjoy it even more so. And... That's what I'm able to connect with, uh, with others, especially being online and uh, being able to connect through different experiences with life because we all kind of go through different things. And that's one thing I absolutely love is I don't see gaming as just playing games. Gaming is a full way of connecting and building friendships and building family. And uh, so it's one of my, uh, one of my all-time favorites. I think that kind of shows watching you when you do play the games as as your husband and as a viewer, you can see the emotions in your face when you're playing the game because when Ellie or anybody goes through something, or even when when uh, uh, Aloy was going through things in Horizon, when so things were going on, you were you know you might have an emotion, you might cry, or you get angry when you die, or when she dies, or whatever, <laughs> but it's still you because you put yourself in her shoes. Slow down. So you see yourself, you, know, you get emotional when emotional things happen. You see tears in your eyes, you see all that stuff. And it's and see the passion that you have for the game while you play. Talking a little quick. <laughs> That's just what I do. He, he, I'm an he's auctioneer. A, he's a fast talker. He is a very, very fast talker. Um, so that's a, it's kind of hard because a lot of different types of games can bring you together. But those are... Those are my top tier games right there. Top tier. Uh, if you are new uh, here and you're just coming into the dojo, hi, welcome on in and welcome to the Y hello. series. Hi, Atcher. Uh, Atcher, thank you for that like. And welcome Aiden. on in. I didn't say hi to Aiden. Hi, hi Aiden. Aiden. And Mystic, thank you for liking the share as well. So who and or what inspired you to start streaming? Um, so... <sighs> It's a little bit of a, uh, all right, kind of going through, back through, I mean, we all kind of went through, like, well, I mean, we, we went through COVID, 
uh, we went through a period of time where a lot of people were stuck indoors and stuck inside, just going to work or working from home, not seeing friends, not seeing family, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, enjoying like different things. So, I mean, back a couple years ago, I started a, this is how big of a nerd I am when it comes to Pokemon, y'all. But um, Pokemon was out and it was S Sword and Shield. And I was invited. I've been in the Pokemon uh, fandom across the Facebook pages uh, legitimately since back in 2014. Actually, almost 2014. Oh, well, we've been at 13, 14. It, it's been a while. And I helped run a couple different Pokemon uh, pages. They would give away Pokemon. They would help out. They'd give different tips, uh, different battling stuff. I used to actually battle competitively when it came to Pokemon. Um, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of uh, different things that we used to be able to do. And uh, kind of go from there. So in... I'm going to remember correctly. In 2021, it was when Animal Crossing came out. Animal Crossing has come out in... Um, I think it was 2021. It might have been 2020, though. I'm trying to remember. It was either 2020 or 2021 when Animal Crossing came out. We started, uh, we started a, another group for Animal Crossing because you get to enjoy and have fun and be on each other's islands. Um, uh, Sweaty, welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, what are your, the king said I've experienced? Um, I will be answering that momentarily. So if you're able to stick around, stick around for just a little bit. Hi, what is the Y series? The Y series is getting to know the creator behind the content. I'm Shim Kicks, and this is getting to know behind me and my content. Getting to know the why. Um, so basically, I they started going live to like trade out Pokemon. They went live for different things, and I was like, I kind of want to be able to do that. I think that would be pretty cool and pretty awesome. And then I was actually attacked by those I actually ran the group with. Um, they decided that I wasn't, I wasn't valuable anymore. They decided to go against me. I got cyber bullied. I got literally torn apart and basically told that I was never going to be anything. I was never going to be, um, anything on this planet, anything in this world. Uh, I wasn't good enough for anything. And it got bad to the point where, like, I was off social media, and then I, we, I, I was done with uh, Animal Crossing. I, I had to stop playing it for a little bit, but I was on Facebook. Also, hi guys, welcome on in, y'all. Alerts and stuff are turned off for the duration of the stream, just so that I can continue on with this. So if you guys are welcoming coming in. I'm not trying to ignore likes or comments or shares or anything. Um, I am seeing, I am going to respond here off and on. Um, Y'all, so give me just a little bit of time to explain just a few things with different questions, and I will definitely catch up with comments. Uh, if you guys know me, I don't like missing things, but uh, also I would love for you guys to be able to uh, get to know me a little bit more and stuff like that as well. So hi, Chase, and what's up, sweaty? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so I kind of got thrown out there. I got thrown to the wolves. I, I, he got brought into it and I was actually like terrified of being online. I was terrified of trying to make friends across social media again, uh, because I connected with those who I connected with. Um, I did a lot of different things for those I, I like became friends with. And once that happened, I was like, okay, well, we'll just, I'll, I'll stay away from things. But one day I had done, like, I'd watched a couple of different streams and uh, I had actually found Sachi. Some people know Sachi, some don't. Sachi is an Animal Crossing streamer. Uh, she now plays a lot of different other games because, well, Animal Crossing's a little bit in the past. And one day I got a notification uh, for a streamer and, uh, 
his name uh it was uh style uh it was i love gaming and uh, his name was brian i popped in on his stream and i got to know him i got to know him uh enjoyed listening to him uh hung out with him during some of the streams uh got to know some of the others that are in the community found a couple other content creators and a couple streamers and i kind of like started like going through and getting to know them getting to know the communities uh getting to know and building friendships again and like being able to reach out and have that sense of like family and uh it was one of those where and it's through gaming y'all it was gaming through animal crossing through different things and uh i was like you know i kind of see myself doing that and uh so i want to say right now style of style of gaming which is brian uh he uh he's actually on twitch now no longer on facebook but uh he 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 really inspired me and i told him i really kind of thought about doing it and uh he had messaged me and said if you're really wanting to do this this is this isn't easy this there there's a lot of other things that goes in with it as well but if you want to do this i'll help you get started i'll help you uh see what you need get what you need and kind of go from there so uh brian welch did uh did inspire a lot of uh a lot of the reason why i uh got to go and uh decide to hit that go live button um but I mean, it was also the inspiration of behind a few other things, and I'll get to that in just a second. So, your uh, your first stream. Nope, that's not the question. Uh, why why did I choose Shim Kicks? That's true. Why did I choose Shim Kicks? Well, I mean, I was not always Shim Kicks, y'all. I was Anime Nation Gaming. I loved animations. I loved anime. I still do. Love Studio Ghibli. And I um I I was like, I don't know what to choose. I don't know what what to do. So out of the blue, I was like, you know what? I'm animation uh animation gaming. We're just gonna go through go with it. I created my page, threw it up, and everybody's like, wait, are you gonna stream? I'm like, I'm trying. I've got a lot of my things ready to go, uh, and I went ahead and just decided to throw my page together. Threw my page together, and uh, a few people caught wind of it, started building, and uh, ended up going live November 29th, and, uh, which would be 2020, uh, because this year will mark two years of streaming. So all of that all started in 2020. I got attacked, I got torn down, I got told i wasn't gonna do anything i would never make it as a streamer uh because of the disabilities i have my brain going too fast i stutter i lose train of thought and uh i got i got torn down quite a bit and uh i was like you know i i've got to try it i want to try it and so i started with animation gaming about a month and a half later my wonderful brian and another creator, he was trying to say Christmas and Kim and came out Chim. And the other content creator, unfortunately, she no longer is a streamer. Uh, she's spending some amazing time with her family. Her name was Grilled Quail, uh, phenomenal. And uh, I did go live on your birthday, Mystic. And she, uh, she's like, you know, he said Chim and she said Kicks. And legitimately, since the end of December of 2020, every time I popped in, it wasn't, what's up, anime? It was, what's up, Chim? What's up, Chim? And about about a month or two later, uh, I, was, I was like, you know, I was playing Fortnite, playing Fortnite actually with Brian and a couple other people. And uh, they were all like, Chim, and it just stuck so i was like you know what and he even like kind of made that joke like you might as well just rebrand to chim and uh i messaged him and said you know what i kind of i kind of see what i could go from here and uh being chim kicks i was actually able to brand actually have a brand behind chim kicks 
Now with Animation Gaming, I was like, how do I, how do I brand this? I can't do a whole lot of anime with it because I don't want to take away from it any any other anime like you just can't do that so chim kicks i was like i used to be in taekwondo i can do this with like dojo style with warriors uh your family you're a stronghold you build each other up you take care of one another um what yeah so being in taekwondo because i literally legit was in taekwondo i got i got injured going for my blue belt actually got my blue belt but i wasn't able to continue on unfortunately but i got to see right there how you did everything you trained and you did what you did with your your family and when one was hurt they were there you showed up you still showed up to root on uh for your family and uh they took care of and ended up going to a uh tournament and just to see that respect that I got when I walked in to that tournament, I'm not able to participate, but I'm still there. I I got to see that. And that's the other reason why I have Chim Kicks and it's the dojo, it's the warriors. Um, I always see that we're supposed to build each other up, not not look at each other and tear each other down. Uh, if it's uh, going through and we're playing like Mario Kart or something, yeah, there's winners. There's a first place, second place, third place, all the way down to like twelfth. Doesn't mean you lost. It's just a, it's just a game. It's just hanging out and having fun. I see Minister Cookies and Friends gaming. What's up, Papa Cookies? And uh, it's just one of those things where I was able to finally connect and. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Um, goodness gracious, this is this is uh first time for me doing this. I'm normally the only one who interviews. What if I want to look at you? Hi, Crystal. <laughs> and I see it Ray coming in with a like as well. What's up, fam? Welcome on in, Chase. If you're still lurking, hi, Chase. Thank you for that like and share. Chat if you're still lurking. Hi. Sorry, you're okay, Crystal. <laughs> I was like, I read your comment, my brain went. Eh. I, I kind of did too. I was like, uh. I was like, wait, huh? It threw me off for a second. Yeah, um, yeah, that so, sometimes, Crystal. So, uh, but, uh, y'all, welcome on into the Y series, getting to know a little bit. I'm sharing a lot more. And, uh, if you guys have some time, um, it's going to get a little deep tonight. I, uh, I'm throwing it all out there. It's about time I did. It's uh, about 100% time I'd be like, here you go. Um, sitting beside you. <laughs> I know, right? It's the husband. Uh, um, thanks. so basically, I was finally able to brand. I was able to have chim kicks. I was able to brand. I was able to have a sense of. I'm gonna get teary off and on, and I already know this, and it's gonna happen. I so I love y'all. Um, that's why I had to breathe for a second. I. I was able to find myself with Jim Kicks and having that brand. And some of you that had been here since I was Anime Nation Gaming, um, you could probably say that I've come a very long way from where I was to where I am now. Having a legit brand, having a sense of belonging, and kind of just going from there. So that's uh what I uh it's just what I love. So thank you to Brian and Grilled Quail for <laughs> having a little bit of a flip flop of a name, but that that was me. It suits so, you though. It does. Could you kick butt? I try. I try. I mean, okay. I I wanna I wanna jump the gun, but I won't jump the gun on him. <laughs> I'll be nice. Wait, what do you, you want to jump? What do you want to jump? The gun on the next question, but oh, I won't. Go for it. No. I was going to ask you what's the inspiration and why. So the big question is, why do I stream? Why do I hit that go live button? Why do I choose to sit here for several hours a night throughout the week? Why do I try to put out TikToks? Why do I host karaoke nights? Why do I do what I do? That's the major question. That's what I want to know. 
Um, Chad says you had an individual and unique streaming identity. Very true, Chad. That's that's what got added, and uh, and I love it. It's it's what has helped me helped me along with all of you all build the community and the foundation and the building blocks and right, the brands. My words. That's what I was gonna say. And uh, that's because when I was just animation gaming. I was like, what am I doing? I felt like I was just a streamer. And there is a difference between a streamer and a content creator. And I'll hit exactly. that. I'll hit on that for just a second. Anybody can stream. To be honest, anybody can hit that go live and stream a game. In order to be a content creator is what you do and what you go and where you go from what you're doing, how you're playing a game, how you interact with your community, how you build on what you've started. I started playing out games i would stream for three four hours at for one viewer two viewers a couple nights when i first started um and then we've started building and to be honest y'all it's not about the view it's not about the views not about the reactions more so it's about the interactions about the engagement and that is why i stream that's why I decided to, after three and a half hours of standing in Micro Center, actually four, with all my stuff in a cart, that I decided, well, after he said, uh, we're checking out and going home. Technically, I decided. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And it's the thing is, is going through, I wanted to stream because I love playing games. I loved, I love what i enjoy and i wanted to be able to share that with others and looking back on it i think at first i i was just a streamer i didn't know everything else that needed to go into this i really didn't i thought i could just jump on behind a camera load up play a video game uh enjoy the game and then after about a month i had looked into it and i said wait a second this is something, and it, it, it's actually come with me over time, actually, to be honest. But it's like, I even told him, I told, I told him, and I've told others that I've always wanted to do something more. I've always wanted to be able to, to reach out to others and to make them feel like they're loved, that they're wanted. And I've wanted to do that on a... I don't know how to explain it, but it was just weird. It was just something that I was like, I, I know there's something out there that I can do. There's something out there that I, I can start to be able to bring others together, uh, to help build a friend, like friends and families and connections and seeing Brian stream and seeing that connection. I was like, that's it that, right there. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to succeed. I was scared beyond freaking belief. But I'm happy I hit that go live button. Because all I've ever wanted to do is have other friends out there. And have a huge family. And to have others know that you're going to go through dark times. And you're going to go through periods of rough patches of your life and sometimes you might have someone you can lean on sometimes you might not because they might not understand you and you're like i need someone that understands or wants to understand and wants to listen and wants to be there and i'm glad i get to have that chance to do that i'm glad i've got a platform i got platforms we're on we're on facebook and we're on twitch tonight I, I've got platforms that we can reach and having that sense of being able to build and thrive and have like so many of you and I've known some of uh, some of you I've known some of you for almost legit two years now I've known some of you actually two years so I see if you're still here I've known you for longer than two years I've known Ray longer than two years Dad, I've known you for a very long time. Cookies, D, I've known you over a year. Y'all, I've known, and it's it's amazing to me 
To be honest, y'all, I thought I was going to fail. I literally thought I was going to fail. I I thought with my dis my own type of disabilities that I have, with forgetting where I am, my rambling, like some of y'all probably think I am doing, but I get there eventually. Eventually. But for y'all to keep coming back, I I think I'm at least trying to I'm doing something right. Hopefully, hopefully, and that's all I want to ever do. My why is to hopefully. When you when you get to pop in a stream, that I get leave you with a smile, that I've made you laugh, that I've made you feel like you belong in this world, that I have made you feel like you can be you. So that's what I hope, even if it's just for a couple minutes, because I know you all are busy. For you guys to even give me just a minute, however long you guys give me, I, I'm so grateful. I don't stream for money. If things come into the stream, they go right back into the stream. Everything I do and anything and everything that gets brought in, it's always just about what I can do to be better. To grow, to strive, to succeed. It's always something that I try to continue to hit on. So basically, y'all, my why is to build a family, to build friends, to build a connection, to let you know that you are loved, you are needed in this world. Because at one time in my life, I didn't feel like that. And this right here has helped me have more of a sense of why I was put on this earth, not just to work in food, not just to be a manager like I've been over the past 10, 12, 13 years, but to actually have an impact on someone's life. That's huge. So essentially what she's saying is why she does it is for you guys. Yep. Very true. Very, very true, y'all. That's another reason why she said she can't do it without you guys, because you're the reason why she's... You find strength where others struggle, so lean on us to say what you need to say. You are loved. I love you as well, Cookie. I love you as well. Um, individual and unique stream here intensity. I'm just gonna follow up with comments real quick, y'all. Um, I know I said I was gonna comment and do everything. You know what? Rule book out the window. I this is my Y series. We're just gonna do it you the way the we're gonna do it. Yours. Uh, Anchor coming in with the like, Jane coming in with the like, but I will say this, I'm not putting my headset back on for <laughs> right now because yes, uh yeah, I just I need to take it off or leave it off. So you never had it on anyway, so what are you talking about? I meant leave it off. I meant leave it off. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh because you are silly like this. I love it. And that's the other thing. I'm gonna get get I'm gonna get back to that. Remember that remember that, please. What am I remembering? Uh because you like to be silly like us. T T Hi, TT. Um, build the dojo we did. You know, building the dojo, y'all, um, it's amazing. And uh, there's a couple other questions, and I'm not going to jump the gun on it. There's other stuff that we'll get into. But uh, we'll get into that and stuff like that, too. So you're a good leader. I try. I, I try to do what I can do uh, when I have the chance. And there, there are times where a lot of people tell me that I would never, I would never make a great GM. I would never make uh, a great leader. I would not be able to do that because of the different ways that I think and the different ways that I do what I do. And hi, Christine. And I was, I was told that uh, when you've been told that, and that wasn't my family. That wasn't my family. If my mom was alive today, I, I really think my mom would be proud of what I'm doing. Definitely. I'm trying not to cry because I miss my mom every day, but I just hope that I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully she's up there smiling and uh, knowing that I could have been a GM right now. I could have been a general manager. I could own my own, like I'd, I literally not own my own restaurant, but I could be my own, I could be my own boss. I, I could do so many different things if I would have just given myself a chance 
to keep knocking through hurdles and hurdles and hurdles. And I, I didn't want to do that anymore. I did not want to do that anymore. I, I, I was on the inside screaming and cr like literally was like, this is not for me. I might be good at it. I might have been great at it. I don't know. I did really well with what I did. I really, I did. I helped change a couple restaurants around. But it's different. not what I wanted to do. I, and that's the thing is, and I'm just, I'm, thank you for allowing me to have this, allow me to have this chance to do what I love to do. And uh, I just, there's other questions, so I'm gonna stop talking so he can actually ask questions or I'm gonna talk about everything and he's gonna be like, you already you answered. Going. You keep going. Oh, love you, Kim and Ryan. You're like big brother and big sister. I'm just here to help you if you get off track, that's all. Uh, that's all I'm, Ray I'm, said, I'm Ryan muscle. is my role model. I don't know if I'm that good of a role model, but I appreciate that. Uh, Cookie says, I fail almost every day, but I never give up. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get back to that as that's well. I keep telling her. That's here. Ryan, Ryan rambles a lot. I he do. can. I do. <laughs> we love you both and the dogs more than, than you know. I love you, me. I still battle with that even after 51 years. What, being told that you're not going to do anything or go anywhere? Is that what it is? You owe me a drink and set up straight. Who just yelled at me for that? Oh, cookies. Really? <laughs> really? Thanks for the poster. Thank you. Thanks, Lolo. Hi, kids. Y'all see my knee, and normally y'all don't see my knee because my camera's moved. Uh-oh. Um, I moved it. Uh, if I was half the things people said, I wouldn't be here today. You know, don't cookies? Nobody wanna, don't nobody want to see those things. I understand. I, I... There was one time in my life, and I told you, I'm going to be real. I might get off topic and we'll jump back to these questions, but I. Come on. Got it. Come on. So seventh grade, I went downhill, y'all. Seventh grade, I went downhill. I cookies, uh, cookies kind of brought something up. So, uh, and we had this heart to heart last week, so I won't stay on it too long. But seventh grade, I rebelled so hard that I, I didn't, I didn't want to be anywhere. I didn't want to be alive. Um, no, I did not try to do anything. But I never thought I was going to be anything in my life. Not that my mom, my mom always told me I would be somewhere. I would be someone because I had the drive. I had the passion. Anything I set my mind to, I would never give up on. Even if they told me that you can't do this. And uh, sports just was never my thing. So when we finally got me to Taekwondo and she was able to see me strive and excel in Taekwondo, she was like, there you go, right there. And then I got injured. I got injured. But it is what it is. It gave me experience. and. I, I absolutely, I, I, that's, I think it saved my life uh, come high school, getting into Taekwondo, uh, doing what I was doing and reading. And I say it all the time, but Harry Potter actually saved my life. It's, it's crazy to think, but Harry Potter did. And uh, a lot of the experiences I have in my life is why I do what I do. So basically I might be off topic, but I might not be. I, I was adopted. I, I felt at one time, I knew my mom loved me. I knew my family loved me, my sisters who I was adopted in. My mom was a foster parent all the way up until she took her last breath on this earth. And which she's the reason why I strive to continue to do what I do. And because she never gave up on others. She never gave up on any of the foster girls or foster kids she had in the house and i never called them my foster sisters they were always my family they were always my family you don't have to be blood to be family and that's the other thing is is what strives me to do what i do here because i have seen so many different stories and different things that so many have to have gone through and done and it, it tears me apart and it breaks my heart as well because I don't understand how some people can do what they do. 
And I that's not my place to judge. It really isn't. But knowing different situations in life, and I, 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 I haven't seen everything. I've not seen everything. I've heard quite a bit. I've seen a lot of it. And that's the other reason why I know that whenever I get to hit this go live button, there are some days where I get scared. Am I even going to have someone be able to pop in today? I know people are busy. Are, are they just going to up one day and turn around and be like, well, Kim sucks. Bye. I know that's not going to happen, but I'm just sharing a little bit of a anxiety thing that I suffer and I go through. Uh, there's a lot of different things that we, we suffer and, I always look back and be like, never going to quit. I'm never going to give up because I know others out there need at least someone. Now, there's other creators out here, a whole ton of them. I might not be for everybody, and it could go from a day-to-day -day thing. I'd be playing a Disney game. Okay, we prefer watching you play Fortnite, or we play that. That's okay. I'm a variety content creator for a reason. I love being a variety content creator because it's something out there for everybody. So that helps. That helps because I know for me, I enjoy variety. So I'm able to pop on with anything and everything. But I know some only enjoy first person shooter games. I know some enjoy just cozy streams. I'm glad I'm able to bring them back. Some enjoy spooky games, which. Coming next month, we got a couple new spooky games coming in. But getting to know and be around others to help them feel wanted and loved, like what my mom did with being a fo like a foster parent, showing that love, showing them that you have someone here that loves you. I'm able to do that, but here I feel like I can do it on a grander scale, and hopefully continue on doing that within that so i know i just i don't have my alerts on sorry here i'll kick the desktop audio back on so if you guys play the channel point redemptions you can hear them um so but going into it uh, hey girl hi Jaden. if i uh uh i read cookies that's what me Later. Hi, TT. Love you. Uh, share your mom would be proud. Thank you, Jaden. Uh, you've worked really hard to push past your comfort zone. I have. Y'all, I That's really, really have. I was nervous. I was scared. I would talk and chit chat here and there. And when I first started, I didn't know how much being me counted. I didn't know how much of myself could I be right. on stream? Don't get us wrong. She was definitely her. But I she was, was me. Just, she was just scared of how far she could actually go with being her. I was me. And the connections and the interactions and the engagement, that's never, that's never been not me. That's always been me. But holding back, I don't, when I first started streaming, it, it, you can probably go back. I have a lot of my streams saved. You can probably go back to my, like, one of my very first streams and then come back to one of my recent streams and you can see that there's a big difference with the different ways of joking laughing and being picked on and rolling back some picking on as well knowing that i can get away with that in a different kind of manner and she was a uh, no <laughs> bad words whatsoever kind of person and then now she's Still on the fence about she doesn't want too much, but at the same time, as long as you're not offending anybody, she's like, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, I was always very, very scared because I there was other creators out there, and I was like, I, 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 I have to be like them. But at the end of the day, especially this past year, I have really, truly found out that you really, at the end of the day, just have to be yourself. Exactly. Because. If you're not yourself, you're not really truly enjoying everything because you're trying to be someone for multiple others, which takes away from the joy at the end of the day. And also it takes away the enjoyment of the game because you're worried about 
what can I not say and what can I say rather than actually concentrating on engaging with them or the game. Cookies wants to try Faz. You know what? You are more than welcome to come fa play Phasmophobia with me. I'm going to throw it out here. I will be playing. I will be doing two streams Monday night. Phasmophobia will be a uh, my second part stream. Monday kicks off my birthday week, y'all. So we are uh -huh. going to be kicking it hard and heavy next week. I guess he could join, but he wouldn't be able to stream. No, he can. He streams on Twitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, so, that's a lot of little about what I do. And I know I rambled on and I got into a little bit more, but I want to be legit. I, I've been terrified. I've been really scared about how far I can open up. Um, But the more that I see that I can open up, the more that others can connect with me on a different type of level, and i'm hoping that with different things that i may cover i may bring up may bring talk about i hope that it doesn't like spark something because that's not what i'm here for i'm here to help um and drive things but my thing is is i just want y'all to know that you were really really loved so, basically, kind of going into it is the next question. Yeah, I want to know <laughs> is that you got into why? Do you have any goals currently or for the future? Current goals now and goals. Um, <laughs> cookies coming in with that hype. Um, hey, Kez, I appreciate you. Lurk, lurk, lurk. Um, we have lost our chat. Unfortunately, we have lost our chat. So if anybody is quit chatting, I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. Um, Facebook has taken away my chat. Give me one sec, y'all. I've got to make, uh, Emmy, give me one second. I've got to fix something. Because my chat has completely disappeared. Oh, I didn't do that. Nope, it keyboard. wasn't you. No, it wasn't you. It's okay. It's right here. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to catch up on comments real quick, and then I will answer that next question about goals, because I do have a couple goals. Um, But yes, Jaden, very, very true. Uh, my comfort zone has been very pushed out. I'm pushing out even more, especially with things for tonight. Yeah, she was nervous with doing this one. And we were going to do this and a little bit of a back and forth, but time to uh, let you guys in. It's about time that I really take things to the next level and push things out even further, no matter how terrified I am. And there we go. Okay, there we go. Um, At the very least, you should be proud of yourself. Jaden... too humble times with that much I definitely be proud of yourself. it's very that. hard for me i i i will say this i'm very proud of where we have come i can't say that i'm just proud of myself i am proud of myself for saying you know what you've got this and listening and listening to him and listening to everybody else and i went ahead and i hit that go live button and that I'm proud of and going through that that I'm proud of I am proud of myself that I haven't given up especially because of things that has happened and I will get back that I will get back to that as well you've inspired me I've been here a short time but it feels like forever and was welcome to me. I love you mystic and I'm I'm so happy that I I, I was at least to be I'm able to be an inspiration it's very hard for me to believe that, like, I know I am, but it is, it is kind of hard for me to believe that I can inspire others to go stream or go do something. But that, at the end of the day, is what I want to do. That's fine. It's just very, <laughs> it's very hard because my anxiety and other things in my head and the dark things in my brain tells me that I'm nothing. I'm not, I'm not good at the end of the day. That's and wrong voice. I know that 
I know that, but that I'm letting you guys know that's that's what I struggle with. And there's a lot of things I talk about bringing into the stream and I want to do it and I'm trying to do it and I bring myself to it. But things in my brain tell me why. Is it really going to work? Is it really going to do it and do it? But that's why. This is the why. So, oh. Uh, Yeah, another friend to help me instead. Uh, no, cookies will be screaming. Really, I won't be the only one screaming. Uh, Mystic's been following for 69 days. Hey, um, Chad says, LOL, I remember when you put the 18 or older stream up so Ryan could talk. Yeah, that is true. That is true. To be honest, anymore. I thought I had to put myself in 18 plus streams, but I do know that I can take off 18 plus. And if we have others that pop in and that are a little younger than 18, I'm still, I, I still look at myself that we are still family friendly enough that they can still enjoy their time and enjoy watching a stream, watching a Disney stream or watching stuff because things are held to a respectable level. Now, if it's a different type of game, I love how our community and our family knows pretty much right around the times where we can have a little bit more fun. We can do a lot more things. Different things get said, uh, especially with trivia nights. Uh, so I, I love being able to know that we have that trust. We have that build. And uh, I do know that things don't get taken too far. Uh, there's that line that we all know not to 100% cross, but that everybody is nice and respected. So. Ah, cookies. Y'all are funny. I know when the world star. So, but to answer Ryan's question, uh, real quick, and I'll get back to comments. Uh, to answer Ryan's question about goals, um, one of my next goal, like one of my goals starting out was everybody has that goal of hitting level up program. And thanks to the other phenomenal communities across Facebook, before I lost several of them to Twitch, but hey, now I'm on both, so it's okay. I'm just picking on them. I love them either way, and I'm very happy for all the other content creators that I've gotten to know and gotten to love and have gotten to build a uh, relationship with. Also, Aaliyah, if you're lurking, hi, Aaliyah. Uh, but... I've always had that goal of nonstop building and nonstop growing. And you see how every so often we'll throw out, hey, um, we hit this goal of 1.8. We hit this goal of 100 or 500, 1,000. And I, I don't put a whole lot of number goals up there. Yeah, I throw a star goal up every so often. Um, but I don't really throw up a follower goal because I don't want anybody to really truly think that I'm only in this for numbers or follows. No, that's not why I do this. Um, it, it's going to sound like a double edge because I, I don't, I don't like the, I hate looking at numbers. Numbers are evil. I'm going to tell you this right now. Numbers are freaking evil. Um, I, I didn't stream for three days and things looked bleak and it made me very upset with myself and I'm like I was sick I needed that time away but goal for me is just to continue to build to uh evolve bring out different things that I've thought about bringing out and finally just saying you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do them exactly like what the Y series this has been in the works for several months and we just started doing it back in July and uh so it was awesome to be able to finally be able to do this and bring in other creators and i will continue to do this i will continue to reach out to other creators not just other streamers and creators but others that maybe you're a doctor you're a teacher uh maybe artist, you're an artist, artist musician, musician singer and be able to do those as well because i want others to have a voice and if I can allow someone else to be seen and have a voice, then I want to be able to do that. Because this is not all about me. It's all about y'all. It's all about everybody getting to know that, hey, I see you. You're seen. I, 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 I love what you do. I want to know what you do. Why you, why you do what you do. So my goal is to continue to build on the Y series. Um, 
Another big goal is I will be starting a chat with Chim. I'm still working on the name, but that's something that's kind of thrown out there. It's going to be like a podcast style where I kind of hop on um, every couple days or at least once a week starting out and kind of share a little bit of experiences, uh, different things. Uh, it's still a work in progress, so I think that's one of my other goals. Major goal is just to continue building our family, building the dojo up, striving to reach all across every platform that we possibly hit, uh, whether that be here on Facebook, whether that be on Twitch, uh, possibly with like YouTube, with everything that we're gonna be building, like the Y series, uh, building on maybe helping others uh, set up a new stream setup, not the smartest with it, but it can kind of help a little bit. Um, and kind of just continue going. Uh, one other major goal, y'all, is TikTok. Uh, I throw out some gaming stuff on TikTok, but TikTok is me right now used for like motivation, inspiration, a lot of funny things. I try to bring the goofy. So that's a pr that's pretty much a big goal that I have uh, right now. And uh, just uh, continue to have fun with all of y'all, experience new uh, games that come out, and uh, continue to build uh, that fun that we have, uh, that we enjoy, and guys continue playing things as well. And just know that I can't stick to one game. I'm sorry. I really can't. Uh, so I know I switch it up a little bit here and there, but it's so you, something that I love. You so, answer my question when you phrase real fast. Uh, what is your favorite game to stream? Uh, Chad said Fortnite because she likes setting people on fire. <laughs> she does like to do that. What is my favorite game to stream? This is a very hard question, Ray. That I is I, very I hard. I don't know what it is. Very hard. Probably Horizon. <sighs> Like currently, right now, Ray, of our all time. That's very hard. My, I mean, I guess the favorite genre of game that I absolutely, absolutely like would love to stream is my RPG games. I love stories because I connect with them. I can chit chat through the game on that connection level uh, with, with you guys as well. Uh, even with it being something throughout the day, and uh, that 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 is something I absolutely, absolutely, truly, truly love to stream my RPG. Um, I love all the other games too. Uh, that's why I, I make it uh make it a point to try to like throw in our community games, uh, other games that we can enjoy, have fun with, have some nostalgia uh, with. And I love my cozy games. And fourth, why I decided to buy Disney and play uh, Disney Dreamlight because it's a cozy chill game That's like, and it's, it's it's super cute. It's like Disney Animal Crossing. It is. It's legit Disney Animal Crossing. Watch Sims. Uh Jaden, Jaden also just said something as well. As someone with no self worth, I understand what you mean. Jaden, you mean so much. Y'all, I'm gonna take just a second real quick. Jaden right here was my besides my husband, was my very first black belt. She, uh, I, I met Jaden, I've known Jaden over two years now. Uh, it was two years back this July. And Jaden hung out in streams with me, chilled out with me. And within the, I, I messaged and said, hey, would you like to become uh, one of the mods? And they were mods at first because I didn't know what else really to call them until we branded with the dojo. I'm like, you're black belt. And do black belts uh so jaden i know you struggle like with different things struggle with a lot as well know that you are appreciated you are loved here you just graduated you are going far in this world you are going far with your life i am extremely excited to see everything that you have accomplished where what you're doing you strive and you continue on what you do with your cosplay everything that you do is phenomenal i just want to say thank you for being with me for so long 
Yo, she she's legit. She's been here since the beginning, like a lot of y'all have as well. But I want to give her those props and love because without Jaden, that first month, month and a half, being there pretty much the entire time that I streamed, because I'd only stream overnights because of my job at the time, and she be there. She was there for nonstop, nine hours, 12 hours, six hours, uh, chit-chatted, talked, hung out, whether it was while she was working, doing homework. Um, she helped me continue on and not quit. So, Jaden, thank you. Eat your flowers. <laughs> and uh, cookies. So, um, Eat your soup, well, man. I understand. We'll have to chit-chat about that. Um, we all know why we're here. You don't have to try and explain that crap to us. But I understand you have others here as well. Cookies, I know. I love you guys. I know why you guys are here. I do. I do believe it. There's just some days where I'm sick and I have to take time off. And I'm like, well, I've been gone for a few days. Let's, let's see how the platform's going to help or... There's a lot of different things that go on behind content creation. And that's the other reason why I'm going to start doing uh, Chatter with Chim. Because I want that to help others. Not just with content creation though, y'all. I want this to go on a grander scale. I want others to know that... Never give up. Don't give up. And cookies. The why series should happen more often. Just saying, I'm I'm working on that, cookies. I'm working on that. Others are having a really, really busy, busy schedule. We were supposed to technically have someone else this month right along with my Y series as well. But uh, busy. schedule kind of got busy, so we're waiting to hear back. Uh, but yeah, we I, I am working on it. I am working on it, uh, trying to bring it in a little bit uh, more and stuff like that as well. Chatting with so, Jimmy. Chatting with Jimmy. I don't know. Chatting with Jimmy. We're going to see. We're going to see. And like, oh God, what have I done? Oh, Jaden, you... you little humble <laughs> little bird. You're a humble bird. So basically, everything of that goes under the goals, y'all, is to continue to, at the end of the day, be me. Um, I think the next question kind of goes into what I want to really talk about as well. Yes. What is... That's the next question. <laughs> no way. I'm kidding. Right yeah, no, no, no. I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh. Um, what experiences uh, have you experienced that have made you uh, want to possibly give up or uh, what step away? Very hard hitting question, y'all. Um, this can go from anywhere being a teacher, being a doctor, being a nurse, being a physician. Being an artist, uh, this is why I said this, the Y series can go for anything. But the struggles that I have had to deal with and have dealt with over almost two years of being a content creator. I'm going to hold on that. Just in a momento. The inter uh, interaction with chat means a lot. Some streamers uh, treat chat like they're supposed to. There and just ignore them. The best streamers are the ones who chat as chat like friends and troll the trollers. I have different opinions on different things, and I won't bring down other content creators. Uh, but Chad, I 100% understand where you're coming from. Um, I do believe that as us being behind the camera, uh, that we should acknowledge those who come into our stream, those uh, that give us time of day um because everybody's busy and if someone is giving you even even a minute or two of their day they're trying to get to know you and i appreciate you chad thank you so much and that's what i strive for is if i have to hold up a trivia session to help someone having a bad day i'm going to because that's who i am and i would rather someone know how much they are loved and seen um, and know that we're here to help them through that bad day, then we'll continue on with our trivia. Because everybody means more than a game. They mean more than a trivia question, more uh, than a movie. 
more than whatever we've got going on in that moment in time, drop what you're doing and you're there to show that you actually mean something. The game can be paused. It can be paused, but life can be paused. I do. Gosh, okay, sometimes I see that. <laughs> cookies. Not a call out to anybody. I love you, cookies. Tell me you why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say, please, Jim, don't stop streaming. <laughs> Gotta love how he uh, remixes stuff. Uh, hi, T. What's up, love? What's up, Miss T? I'm happy to see you get back to streaming, sweetheart. Um, so, hard hitting question What kind of struggles have I, have I gotten through? Do you guys want like full fledged transparency here? Everything? Honesty. I'm gonna say there are times going through stream that platforms like to throw numbers out at you all the time you see views you see reactions you see comments you see how well you did in a performance you see you get shown so many different things i get an email after end of the stream Streamlabs decides it likes to send me emails here's your stream report i don't look at them i do look at other things though and i have to stop there are some days where I have to look at them because I use them to realize what is going well and what might not be going so well. Uh, where I did okay at, where I could kind of strive at, and... <laughs> uh, basically, to kind of like build on what I'm doing and kind of see what's going on. But at the end of the day, those numbers shouldn't matter. And that's what I'm having to tell myself, even now, because being off for a couple of days after my stream on Monday, uh, my stream was only pushed out to 57, 57 viewers, uh, is what Facebook told me. And I got very upset and down because I was like, wait a second, we just had two phenomenal weeks being back on track, having a schedule, uh, feeling like I'm my like, full self again feeling hyped up i'm i'm good like the summer summer heat doesn't have me bogged down i've got the fall weather i've got a different kind of sense of the direction and everything that i'm trying to do and like work through uh creating my own merch and that's another one of my goals to finally have done um but that's a big struggle is seeing different kind of numbers and they can get you down because numbers are what a lot of people only look at and only take an account. And at the end of the day, that's not what it's about. It's about interaction. It's about engagement. Um, on, on Monday, did we have a lot of fun? Did we have a lot of laughter? Um, I can say Trivia Tuesdays. Trivia Tuesdays sometimes gets pushed out, sometimes it doesn't. And that's okay. That is a-okay. Do we have a lot of fun? We have a lot of fun. So at the end of the day, I call that a successful stream. I, I a successful night. Uh, there was a, a quote thing that I came across the other day. And I don't remember who posted it. I don't know what the quote is from. But this isn't from me. It's something that I saw. And it says... What does it mean to be successful? Is it how many numbers you hit? Is it how many views you hit? Is it how many patients you helped? Is it how many how much money you made uh, within a day of whatever you do? Um, no, at the end of the day, being successful is you of what you're doing. Content creating, did you hit that go live button? Did you have a laughter? Did you talk to at least someone? You're successful. That makes you successful because you did that. If you go and become a gymnast and you go through and you're doing cartwheels, you're doing flips, you're doing anything and everything, um, but you can't possibly make it on a team just yet, are you unsuccessful? No, you're not unsuccessful. You're still successful because you're doing that. You're out 
doing something. So that is how I'm handling. Thank you, love. Hi, Emily. Uh, that's how I'm handling my struggle with stream performance reports and seeing how am I doing something and not trying to be like, okay, well, I might be playing the same game as this person. This person has so many more people in their chat their chat than maybe I do. Um, I used to do I used to do that a while back ago. And I would look at it and be like, what am I doing so wrong? What am I doing different? And um that was a question that I always like plagued myself down. And that's where I started kind of tending to get away from myself. And this was last year, trying to be like others, like, okay. I need to act like this person in order to do well with this game. I have to act like this in order for things to go well with this game. No, that's not the truth. That's not the truth at all. So that's how I'm handling that. But to be honest, I almost did quit streaming. Not because of the numbers, not because of the views, not because I didn't, not because I stopped enjoying chit chatting and building the family that we're building. I almost stopped streaming because of others that were a part of my family. I'm not naming names. I won't go into context or details as much, but I had been around a lot of different family and been supportive, been there, done a lot of things. I had family in my corner who I thought was legit, really, truly, part of my family and things kind of started coming to a light and things hit a hit a turn and i was called out for different things across the platform and it made me start second guessing who i was and i started get second guessing did I really truly not have a good intention? Was that not spelled out properly? Was that not put out? Some people see 100 viewers as low. That is true, T. I'll get back to that. For me, success is getting out of bed in the morning, having one person come talk to me. Very true. I love hearing that, T. Everyone's perspective on success is different. Very true. Very true. This is very subjective. I remember when you subjective. almost stopped. It broke my heart. Right? Um, cookies, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to your comment in just a second. And Emily, I am good, sweetheart. Welcome to the Y series. I hope you, I hope you and the family are feeling better. I hope you, Dixie and Eric, are feeling better, y'all. Y'all, Miss Emily is part of our family and she's got a baby girl and her husband. They've all been a little sick. So love. I'd really appreciate it. And happy belated birthday as well. Yes. Actually, Emily, if you are still here, let me know. I owe you a birthday stream song. Oh, if you're no. still if you're still lurking, let me know. I owe you a birthday stream song. But so y'all, I was accused of stealing. I was accused of stealing ideas. I was accused of stealing content. I was accused of having different kind of intention. And that was 100% incorrect. And I won't go anything too too crazy, but I was basically told that I wasn't legit, that I that basically I wasn't made out for this. I was told that I was only doing this selfishly. I was only doing it because of my anxiety because i needed to feel like i was needed or felt loved um i was told that i wouldn't really continue to grow so i i lost a few people that were in my corner who i thought never truly would leave my corner and being told a few things after being around family who i called family it kind of breaks you and it it tears you down and it makes you start to second guess yourself um and i've had it happen to me so many times in my life uh 
not wanting to be like it really really took me down because i i was there non-stop no matter what no matter what through anything and everything i was always there and to be told that i had different intentions and that i wasn't doing what i was doing for the right reasons and that me being on stream that i'm not truly being myself because i'm not being sexual or i'm not cursing and cussing i have a mouth on me outside of stream do i think that someone should come into stream all the time with me personally like with how i do what i do um i can't cuss all the time you guys have probably heard me cuss a few times here off and on especially in fortnite love fortnite but it makes me rage a little bit but i was basically told since i want it be like that that i didn't deserve to continue doing what i do and oh hi style hi style Style OG, he's over in Twitch. Y'all, I was talking about him a little bit ago. He's the one who helped me uh, start the stream and gave me that push and inspired me, y'all. So basically, at the end of the day, I was basically said and I was told that I wasn't doing anything right. Um, I was told that since I can't design and I don't know how to, to really truly design, that I would never make it with upgrading my stream um i was told that since i don't have the time to fully network or do what i need to do that i would not continue to grow i was told because i can't have a different type of personality like you guys see from my husband on tuesdays that's just not me i didn't grow up like that i don't understand it i do my best he brings it out so we have a lot of time and a lot of fun with it but i was making myself be three different people last summer last fall last winter i was allowing myself to not be heard i was allowing myself not to push forward in what i truly wanted to do and bring forth because i was basically told that I had stupid ideas or it was dumb. I don't know how to get it out. I don't know how to speak. I ramble way too much and I ramble a lot. Like I, I do, it's just me. It's just how my brain is. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because at the end of the day, that's me. But that's what almost made me quit. And that's why from February until June, I was inconsistent. I was hiding away. I hit depression. I hit I hit a very 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 big low. I enjoyed what I still did every time I got on stream. I still enjoyed everything, but everything in the back of my head for those months were why do why do I keep doing this if people think that I I suck. You're going to have a hater out there. They might not hate might just not understand they might not truly understand where you're coming from or who you truly are because they might have gotten hurt in their life a long time ago and that's why i try to give others the benefit of the doubt at the end of the day do i hate them no do i have any ill regard against them no i wish them well i wish them the best i wish them a great future but i you have to know when to walk away and to cut ties and it's very hard to do that i'll continue on in just a second because we have some chit chat that i don't know why but facebook has completely destroyed my chat so give me a second let me catch up with everything i do apologize y'all i have two chats pulled up because it will not let me see my chats um when you're feeling down all you can muster is a frown that is the time to stop count your blessings until you drop Focus on all life's good. You will find things work as they should. 
Feeling sorry and sitting around, it is a sure thing to bring you down. Take some action, make a move. It doesn't matter if others approve. Nothing lasts forever. You will not pass this if you favor. Endeavor. Yeah. Cookies, I love that. Love Ooh. that. And yes, yeah, I almost, I almost did. Yes, T. I know, I understand. Don't cry because I'll start crying. I've got tears in my eyes. I'm trying not to fully break down. People and Brian says people who aren't doing well will always try and hold you down. They valued their content as some incredible unique thing. Try to take you to their level. Misery loves company. Doing your Brian, I appreciate you so very much. Salo G, y'all, he's on Twitch. He's also another one who helped me not quit. Cookies and Friends Gaming, Linda and Ear out. There were so many of you that messaged me, kept saying, Hey, you're doing well, you're okay. Are you okay? And each and every single one of y'all played a part in why I am still doing what I'm doing, especially this guy right here. I try. My husband, my rock, my stronghold. He won't let me quit. He didn't let me quit. All right. So. Got it all right. So. Ryan, a sexual enough and has, has a more enough for the both of you. Ooh, cyber speech. <laughs> uh, yes, he's got a mouth. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't have a mouth. Uh, I know, Cyber. I love you as well. I love you as well. Um, having haters does push you harder. Um, it does, it does push you a little hard because it's not that you want to prove them wrong 100%. It's showing them that just because you may not be comfortable with what you're doing, so you have to turn around and try to break someone else down for doing things differently. Not really that per se. It's just you know where I'm going it's from. Just not so much like bringing them like you know they whatever. It's just like sometimes I feel like haters like a motivation to keep you keep on going to make you not so much prove them wrong, but it's prove yourself wrong. And like, so in the sense, you are proving them wrong, but think to yourself that you can do what you're proving you have to say it. Uh, Top White Gaming coming in with the notified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the family where you're not just a friend or a follower. You are family and you are now a warrior. Welcome, welcome to the family. Uh, hello, good evening. You both, it's late here. Just say, never stop being you, doing what you love. You are one of the most genuine, wonderful, thoughtful people I know. Keep going for you and enjoy it firstly for you. And those who see you for the true person you are will follow. The rest are not worth the words they write. Hi, Paula. I love you, sweetheart. Nice. If you're still here, thank you so much, sweetheart. And I love getting to hang out and see you. I know it's late for you. But if you're headed to bed, I love you. Good night, Paula. And style OG. Hanging Chad, out. I thought we were boys. You're not funny. Brian, if you're still hanging out, Brian, I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. But y'all, I almost quit. I didn't want to quit. But I... When you get burned over and over and over in your life, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Henceforth, why I, I literally tear up and cry about anything and everything emotional. Um, it just, you kind of want to turn around and be like, why do I continue to put myself in situations to continue to possibly get hurt? And the reason why I continue doing it, and I had to think long and hard on this over the last couple months, is because, why not? If I continue to get hurt, I continue to learn lessons to hopefully allow that to help someone else that may have gone through that type of situation or who have been hurt or who are hurting or who knows, may have hurt someone and they didn't intentionally mean to or in a situation they might have. And maybe it'll help and make others realize that we're here to help each other. We're here to support one another, not tear each other down. Just because Style OG back then could have turned around and been like, 
not even him other creators sorry brian if you're still here i'm not trying to like just i'm just other creators out there could have turned around and been like why do i want to say go for streaming why do i want to say go for it all right why tear somebody else down if they have something i was going somewhere with it but okay mm -hmm. thank you um i'm trying to go to where you're I, so. I know but it's other creators could possibly turn around and be like someone coming in chat and be like i thinking about streaming or i think about i want to stream or and a content creator could ignore it and a creator be like why they can throw so much negativity towards it or to try to like divert because there's other out there that they don't want others to take away from them and that's not what it is about if you want to stream go stream if you want to be a content creator and show and show that love go do it go do something you love to do just because miss sally's over starting a cookie cookie bakery doesn't mean crumble cookies can't do it or or you have macy's and dillard's i mean port dillard's is kind of going out of business but but just because someone goes and uh starts up a masseuse that's down the street doesn't mean you can't go be a masseuse okay so that's the thing is is there's a variety out there because there's so many others out there that are different and like i always say i might be for someone one one day i might not be your cup of tea the next day because you need a different type of atmosphere that's why i love that we have a lot of different creators that are across the platforms I'm going to continue to root for everybody. I'm going to root for them until whatever happens, happens. Now, if you're mean to your community, stop being mean to your community. But, but at the end of the day, like, if you're going to do what you got to do, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that person that will continue to root for you. But I, I had so many different things happen and bring me down that allowing someone to possibly take away from my joy i turned around in june start of july and said i'm done allowing others to take away from my joy i'm done allowing others to dictate what i do with my life because they don't live with me they're not here the only person that i really need to worry about and take advice and connect with and communicate with is my husband and everybody that comes in and hangs out with us here in the dojo i love your guys' advice i love your feedback i love when we chit chat i love when we hang out and this is why i didn't quit take advice from people and you only care that's you think that's wrong uh yeah because they start to get to you and it all my people they're lying i don't want to sleep uh as a bad thing at all yeah i love you and thank you so much um i'm glad you didn't i can tie-dye and paracrow <laughs> oh i gotta get back into the tie-dye i kind of quit for a little bit there because i kind of overwhelmed myself but we'll get back we'll be back a lot of tie -dye. um top boy gaming says you who just doing some rains. I appreciate you. Crystal Larkin, thank you. Well, Ryan hadn't hit you in the face with a pie you have played. Ryan should get another pie. <laughs> oh, taking a pie to the face. That was fun. But basically kind of going in, y'all, the next question I have is advice for other creators out there. Sorry. Uh, other creators out there, or, you know, like I said, not just creators, is at the end of the day don't quit never stop be you i've learned it's taken me i will be 34 in a week from tomorrow i will be 34. it's taking me legit 30 years 30 uh, 20 something years sorry 20 something ish years since i really could truly understand because of school and everything to really truly know that I can just be me. I'm me when I'm at work. I used to not be. I used to be someone who I think uh, they would want. 
to be on their management team, be their general manager, to, um, to, uh, I thought I had to just be someone that others always looked up to, always looked at. And legitimately, it's crazy to think, but this past year opened up my eyes. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to continue to be. And if I get burned, I get burned. It's a lesson learned. And I'll take it and I'll wear it as a badge of honor. Because as a warrior, you can't give up. You can't stop. Because if you do stop, who's out there fighting? Accurate. Who's out there helping others fight battles that they can't fight on their own? So, for you out there, if you are a new creator, or if you are somewhere new in your passion, or what you are trying to do, be you. Do something you absolutely love to do. Don't let life slip by just getting by in something that you think you're just going to enjoy for the rest of your life, but it's not truly what you're passionate about. Take it from someone who gave up a lot because it wasn't something I enjoyed. I really, truly didn't. This is what I enjoy. This is what I would love. Got to believe. And that is the last thing. It, it's very hard to believe in yourself on times, but this is why we have a family. So if you ever catch yourself not believing in yourself, please message me so I can help you remind yourself that you are awesome. You are incredible. Loved. So. Uh, try to hold back these tears. If you guys have any questions at all, um, please drop them in the chats. I have my Facebook chat and I have my Twitch chat up. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, um, if you might have missed something, uh, and you a little bit of a refresher on, more than welcome to drop it in the chat. But you guys are more than welcome to drop any uh, any questions you guys want. Uh, Personal stream, go for it. Because, uh, like I said, um, being open and being personal and not holding things back is what's going to have that connection build even. And that's why I try to post on my page every single day. Even if it doesn't get pushed out, I'm going to continue to push it out. I'm going to post out because I want you guys to know that hey this is what i'm trying to plan for the day this is what i'm trying to get home to. if i could do this full time i 100 percent would love to do this full time another thing a little bit about me i love photography i love taking photos another thing i need to get back into is enjoying some nature and weather and photography i definitely do like that point brian i will say i definitely can but Sometimes it's not just about solving the issue, it's about the other person actually just hearing themselves say it to somebody else and knowing that somebody else cares enough to take the time to live. Struggling trying to hold that weight. We can empathize, but we can share others' burdens. So what Stylo G is talking about, and Brian, I understand where you're coming from, and I understand where Ryan's point of view was coming from as well, is you can... You can be there and you can listen and you can do your best to give a little bit of advice. But at the end of the day, we can't fully take on that burden. And Brian, I, I truly, truly understand that. Definitely. Because if you do, you weigh yourself down so much with so much different emotion to where it can take away from you and take away just a little bit what you're trying to go after. So Brian, I do I do understand where you're coming from. So that is very truthful. You can we can sympathize and that's what I want to be here is I I want to be there and listen and guide as much as possible. But if I can't help to a certain extent, I will guide you in different ways of accessing different ways of talking to others that can help you get through different things in your life that I may not have the answers for. 
Um, there's only so much that I can do at the end of the day. So Brian, thank you for that because I didn't get that in there is as content creators, there is only so much that we can do, only so much that we can suggest, so much that we can give back because we have our own stuff we, we go through on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And I love that I... Well, I mean, kind of going with what I almost quit because of. I I held so much down and let it become part of my burden uh, to try to help and do other things. And I think that's what caused me to take away from a little bit of what I was doing and then ultimately was turned around and let's just say, what do I ever want to go through what I went through at the beginning of this year again? I do not. I do not, but I'm happy I did only for the fact that I know what to look for down the road and how to help others in different areas of their lives as well. But did I ever think that was ever gonna happen? No, you never know when things are gonna happen. You really don't you try to prepare all you want, but I'm just grateful that I have friends and I have family. A lot of family that literally legitimately had been in my corner for over two years for even just a couple of days not for sure depends on doesn't it doesn't even matter whether it's been one day or over two years it's just great to know that over the past several months I've had others that you're doing great you're doing what you want to do like you're you're being you and continue to do that and not allowing me to wait i'm very grateful for that very grateful for that because i know that that's something that i have built and having that in my life has been amazing. so i just want to thank every single one. okay better than that but that's no shock. i'm grateful that i have found all of y'all he, I found you through Brian. Brian, I got notified Facebook, y'all. Facebook, out of the blue, one day, hey, go check out this content creator. Go go check out this streamer. And it was style. Style of gaming with mouse. Style OG. And as as it's been a life changer ever since. You know, you have a place. In our hearts. You have a place in our Everybody. Very much, very much so. Uh, going to sleep. I'll catch you both soon. I'm glad you're in my life. And one day, hopefully, me. Paula, if we could get to meet, if I can get to meet all of y'all, man, that would be a blessing. And that would be awesome. Katie coming with the followers at 13 days. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I think I'm only at like 70. <laughs> it's because you had to restart, <sighs> unfortunately. Um, has been uh, this community so much for me. I love our communities. I said it the other night, y'all, and I'm going to say it uh, at the end of this as well. Not ending just yet, but I will never say that I have the best community. I will say I have one of the best communities, one of the best families out there because everybody has an amazing do. I'm very just I wish there was more words in the dictionary well, that I, I know <laughs> that I would know to say even more. But there for a while I could like literally sleep, breathe, stream, do everything and taking a step back over these last couple of months of having to reanalyze and rethink and do things it helped me reset, readjust, and I'm just, I'm excited again for the future. I'm excited for today. I may be excited for the future and what, what, what tomorrow may hold, next week may hold, next month may hold, next year. But I'm just thankful that I have today with you all because today is never... Tomorrow's never never guaranteed. I'm just glad I have day double two. 
hopefully make an impact somewhere. Tomorrow, it's guaranteed with me. I'm gonna make it happen. I gotta I'm fight somebody. I walked outside the apartment for a bit. Oh no, Jaden! Oh, no, no. I was telling Jacob. I remember when you rebranded, Brian. Uh, style may still be lurking. I know he's busy. I, I, he, he is a very busy bee, and I absolutely love being able to see how far he's come and where he's going. Uh, that goes with all of y'all. I root for each and every single one of you all each day. Also, if you are in Florida or if you have been impacted by the hurricane, know that our love and our prayers go out to each of you. Please keep me updated. Let me know how you guys are doing. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, Kyle, what's up, Kyle? And stay um, safe. But yeah, just please stay safe uh, and just just know that we're we're thinking of you guys as well. <laughs> Kyle coming in. <laughs> but the thing is, is uh, I found Brian through a raid and it was birthday stream. I think never left after that. Yeah, he I I, I yep, it was his birthday stream. I loved Brian's birthday. Stream. So fun. Uh, it it was so much fun. I got to help hold a secret, y'all, for Animal Crossing and helps uh throw him a surprise thing. There was something I was gonna say to Brian, and I can't I can't do it right now. My brain went out the window. Uh I don't remember now. The window's right there, not that way. The yeah, right yeah, it's that way. That's that way. I don't remember. It was that's my brain. My brain. Oh, with the rebrand. Yes, Brian, thank you for uh for uh deciding to say my name and Christmas because if it wasn't for that I don't think I would have ever came up with Chim Kicks. No. Nope. We wouldn't have the dojo. I'd probably still be animation gaming. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> oh. It, it would probably still be that. So, Brian, thank you for helping me uh, find myself. So, the doors of the complex lock at me. So, if you set your keys down inside, you're at the mercy of the next. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Roger. What's up, Roger? Katie just got home. Excellent. Roger, home safe. Okay. No. Oh, goodness the windows gracious. For that one, no. You Not unless you, uh... Unless you're Spider Gwen. Yeah, unless you turn into Spider Gwen or, uh... Or you climb up the drain pipe. Um, so, I know I have some of y'all still kind of hanging out and chilling. Um, y'all, anybody have any other questions? Anybody have any other questions? like to ask or like to get to know from yeah, where you, anything? Yeah, where your boyfriend at? Ugh, nobody's ever seen that YouTube video. Did you get any Mike and Ikes? No. You like Mike and Ikes? No. Yes. What's your name? <laughs> oh, Kim. Such a beautiful name. If you guys have never seen that YouTube thing, uh, it's it's fun. Uh, Roger and Kyle, thank you for the like. Also, Kenneth, if you're still lurking, thank you for the like as well. And hi, Matthew Miller. Hello, hello. Uh, to be clear, I am inside now. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I just got home. When is Ryan going to stream Madden? Mm -hmm. That's up to him. I've asked him if he wants to jump back and play some football. I don't even have Madden 23. You might have to, you might have to get uh, 20. So, I, I have a yet. question. Why are you so cool, bro? Ah, ah. I love you. And whoever Jeez. said, I love your shirt, thank you. I know someone threw that out that earlier. Emily. Oh, that was Emily. I'll have to mess with you. are cool as a cucumber, babe. Cool as a cucumber. And kosher of the pickle. I had, My day was supposed to be off today, and I got called into work for a couple hours. So I went to work for about two and a half hours. Today. I have a question, babe. Why are you so cute? Uh-uh. <laughs> That's the other thing is, is, man... Thank you for supper. Oh, really? I don't know. Probably corn dogs. No, not corn dogs. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, anybody else have any questions for like content creation, streaming, other thing? Uh, I'm asking these guys. I know. I'm thinking of me. That I had. I had one of you. I did already answered it. I might have. I think you did. I might have. Oh, no, you didn't. Um, I have a question for you. What do you do? Two do you have a troll for 
somebody in the stream trolling you, how do you handle it? And have you had that yet? Fun trolls? <laughs> I've had fun community family trolling, which I'm a-okay with. Uh, but to be honest, y'all, I, I mean, some of you have seen, I have had a couple trolls come in the chat. Um, some of them will come in, uh, if they're not the sexualized kind, um, I'll say hi to them, I'll greet them, I'll try to talk to them, feel them, feel, uh, make them feel like they're welcomed. Because, hey, never know, they might not have someone to make them feel welcomed, uh, or feel loved. So, I try to try to do that and if they don't continue i warn them and then my black belts say bye you're done you're not gonna mess with him anymore uh but if we have anybody that comes in directly coming in with any uh any type of uh being racist or not being supportive being horrible in chat uh coming in with any sexuals uh stuff like that i say hi and then i say bye that's it that's, that's it funny. That's exactly how I handle, I handle the trolls. Kyle says apparently you make them a mod. I mean, I've had, I, two of y'all have been black belts. So, you know, no, now three. I've had the three amigos. Oh, I just say very nice. Oh. You're a very nice person. Just don't mess with you. Two hours later, you try to time it directly at two uh, hours. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's great. Yeah, I mean that's how it is. If you have anybody come in, it's 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 someone pops in and is like giving you trouble or backseat. Like even if someone comes in and starts backseat gaming, hey, okay? if it's a game I don't mind, get out of my cool, car. But. If it's a game that I'm specifically even said, hey, uh, please no backseat gaming, no spoilers, I will say, hey, I would appreciate if you would stop. Uh, thank you. But other than that, like, just try to make everybody feel welcomed. Sometimes if a troll, like, gets me to feel welcomed, they're either going to stay in chat and be like, oh, okay, I've actually been seen, heard, and actually welcomed, or they're just going to ditch and leave your chat. That's pretty much the way I've had it. I think I've had... I've had less than 10 trolls. I've had about three sexual trolls. And I I turn around and be like, you know, they, I'm sorry. I'm married. Bye. Married a troll, too. You I quit with you. I quit with you. Uh, watch my rain on my Stardew Valley for a month to turn it into a meme, <laughs> but it legit didn't rain for a month. Goodness gracious, that's insane. I'm a nice troll, though. Oh, and you fail. And I heard that fail, Kyle. Headphones are like right next to me. All right, so do we not have any other questions for stream, y'all? No questions for stream. But he does. Now would be last couple minutes to get them in if anybody wants to hear or know anything. Yeah, Travis coming in with that like. Hi, Travis. Welcome on into this. How are you? How's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Things will happen. That's too much. Things will happen. Um, Just take it with a grain of salt. Handle it the way you need to handle it and kind of just move on. So, but I appreciate y'all. Uh, if you've been kind of hanging out and chilling through the uh, the Y series, I know it's late for some of y'all, so I, I know oh, some probably went one, to sleep. Um, but uh, but I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. What maybe made you, you want to start? Maybe she can message it to you if you want. Uh, Long story short, I I fell in love with uh, seeing other content creators uh, doing what they love through gaming and interacting with the community. And I saw that I could possibly be able to do that since I love gaming as well. And being able to uh, show others that they have someone that can kind of hang out with them, even if they have someone. Um, have to probably go back and rewatch some Kyle because there's a lot. Of, there's a lot that goes. 
so uh doing good how are you guys doing well doing well where you're just finishing up with the y series getting to know the creator behind the content tonight plus getting to know uh a bit behind why i do what i do um a lot of the different struggle with why i do uh where i came from how i started uh the way that i got my name my brand so if anybody is just catching this towards the end uh if you guys want uh to kind of pop through uh catch a little bit of it i will be throwing this out on youtube as well uh along with the the y series uh that i did with rockstar 19 and the one I did with JP uh, Fire as well. So I uh, appreciate the hugs, Jacob. Appreciate the hugs. And if you do, heck yes, sir. Heck yes. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. So uh, I think the elves. You all have a great night, Chad. If you were off, go get some less. I appreciate you. part of the family. Uh, still have the screen chat on my phone. Goodness gracious. Oh, posture check. Oh, no, I shot. really, really thank you. And Kyle, thank you. Yeah, right. Cool. Thanks for the headshot. <laughs> oh, goodness. How did you overcome the first time you hit that live button? You know what? That is a really good question that I didn't think about having down. How did I overcome hitting that go live button? So, interesting uh stylo g um he helped me like kind of go through see what i need uh went through there went and got all my stuff built my page got the page out um he shared it out a few other comedians kind of shared it out i've gotten to know them um it was time to go live and i had set up a lot of stuff like on my own uh with the help with him a little bit uh as much as i needed and then uh from happy axolotl as well another amazing content creator um i went to go hit like go live and i was supposed to go live at like 6 or 7 p.m that night i think no i had been a little bit earlier than that and there was something not working properly and i had reached out to brian and brian knew i was gonna go live that night and he's like, uh, he's like, what's up? What's going on? And I said, something's not right. I think I set something up wrong. So uh, he hopped in, uh, hopped into Discord, and uh, was able to help me get through everything. And that just made me super nervous because I was like, well, I'm already having these kind of issues. What other issues am I going to have? And it kind of scared me. Like, am I ever going to learn this? Am I ever going to be able to get through? fixing something on my own without always having to have someone and shoot technology 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 is technology you're always going to have something happen not always but if you do you get through it you push through it you do what you got to do but that night i had a little anxiety going live but knowing that i already had built a connection with community like different communities different family different friends uh, a few other content creators um i had a feeling i would get to see some of them in the stream and uh and i was able to know that i had others <clears throat> out there that were like rooting that i would do well and go far and uh that i actually would hit that go live button i had so many of them that like hey excited i'm i'm happy to hear you're gonna stream and you're gonna do this so I, I ended up hitting that go live and I played Animal Crossing that night and I think I was live probably for probably four hours ish. It was kind of a short stream. Um, but I remember so much differences with that game to where we are now and it was anxiety, but I just turned around and was like, you know, I can do this. I got this. I, I enjoy this game. It's going to be a calm game that I can follow along with chat uh, and kind of build myself from up there. So, exactly. But to be honest, every single night I hit this go live button, there's a little bit of anxiety that goes with it. And we heard that from Rockstar that if you 
don't have some type of anxiety, something's wrong. Because you always want to be excited. You always want to have a little bit of that butterfly in your stomach because you're you're ready for something. You're 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 nervous and excited and it's just something that you're able to enjoy and back was uh I want to know because I got to hit that button after two months on Saturday. He know that you are loved. You have community. You have family. And we cannot wait to see you come back. Cannot wait to see you come back. Yes, miss. I cannot wait. Oh, God. I nearly had a panic attack before I hit live for the first time. I mean, I panicked a little bit because I was having some tech issues. But Brian helped. Uh, got test We did some test streams. Because I was having issues uh, with the stream freezing. And uh, it was because I had a setting that was completely off. And then it was fine. And then there was nights where I'm like, I'm going to go live. And I'm going to go play this game that I don't know if anybody really cares about. Tony Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, but I really, really loved it and enjoyed it. And uh, I, back then, or got in my head, was like... I'm just going to play and enjoy the variety of games. And if someone pops into chat, I'm going to be able to enjoy and hopefully chit chatting with them and building the bond. And almost two years later, here we are now playing so many different type of games Lots and of having that camaraderie. Camar I can't say it. Camaraderie. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's, that's what it is. So. Jacob, I'm sorry to hear that. Just know that failed. he is right there with you. I do believe our, our family and our loved ones that um are are always looking down on us. Kyle, why are you going to fail? First stream was really easy for me to lab with Mama Bunge and she person. Mm -hmm. Mama Bunge Mama Bunge is amazing. She's a sweetheart. And I do remember your very first stream. Love. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do love me. Love you, team. Kim. Love you too, Kyle. Play games for me and not for others. You'll find your people no matter what game you play. Why well, I love variety. Facts. Variety, it, there's always going to be something out there for at least some. So, always enjoy what you do. Always enjoy what you play. Because if you don't enjoy what you play, you're not really going to have anything to talk and chit chat about. Sorry. You're just going to be... And you're not going to be entertaining because you're not going to enjoy so. yourself. Because you got to be a little someone entertaining or you're going to be boring. Oh, Once shoot. Y'all saw me play Fall Guys. Yeah. Fall Guys, I am not good at Fall Guys. Yeah, but that makes entertainment because it's funny. Yep. It's funny. Or when I first started Fortnite. Oh, dear God. A year later. I'm That's, so happy I improved. You just burn people all the time in the beginning. Oh, you did. Hey, oh, I love my fireflies. Set that stage on fire, basically. Uh, variety makes my ADHD brain happy. See, to be honest, I haven't seen a legit doctor to ever really be diagnosed with anything. Uh, they didn't really diagnose with me at all, like when I was little. But if I probably went to go see a doctor now, I probably would be considered to have ADHD. A little bit. Yeah, because she can't even watch TV without everything else on. Because I legit have to multitask. I have to do multiple things at one time. If I don't, I fall asleep. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So, I'm excited to play Wildflowers. I thought, I think I've seen a trailer for that. I think I, I think. Like a farmer by day, which by night. Yes, yes, yes. I have seen that. Uh, that game. Sorry, 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 Put sorry. Your mouth. Sorry. Um, I th I think I have seen. Yeah, I saw that trailer. Wasn't that on the Nintendo Direct? I think so. I think so. Because that game uh seems very familiar. See, you should play Disney. Play Disney Dream. It's a lot of fun. Uh self diagnosed diagnosed three year late. Oh. Your weight to get into it. That's insane. So, oh, it's Sunday. Uh, love you tons, Chim. Can't wait for Sunday. I know. So, just a I mean, hocus pocus. If anybody has any other questions, I'm here for it. Uh, y'all, 
like I said, I, I want to be as personal uh, and open up as possible as much as I can. Um, so don't be hesitant to ask uh, any deep questions. Uh, if they're too deep, I will say maybe I'll private message there. But uh, if anybody else has any other type of questions, let me know. Uh, but while we're waiting a little bit, hey, Cameron. What's up, Cam? <gasps> Cam! This is for you. Congratulations, guys. Cameron with the like on the stream. Cameron right there. Our brother. Our 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 family as well. Uh, that lives very close to us. Um, him and his family just signed on their new house today. So, Woo! hell yes, Cameron. Let's go raise the roof. Raise that new roof. Uh, mm -hmm. but uh, tomorrow night I am going to if I have the stamina. I don't know how long the stream is going to be because I don't remember exactly how long it's going to take me to finish. But we are going to be completing the end of The Last of Us tomorrow night. Um, Saturday, I'm not for sure if, we're, if I will be streaming or not because we were supposed to be going out of town. Don't know if we're going out of town anymore. What I might do is spend the day working on stream stuff, uh, rehauling the armory, bringing in something else new that I want to bring into. <clears throat> Uh, changing over a few things, so I might take Saturday to do that, and then Sunday night is our Hocus Pocus 2 movie night in Discord, and I have a Hocus Pocus giveaway that I will be showing out to y'all on Sunday with the details on how to enter that giveaway. You have to make, have everything finished for certain things. Would help. I know. I will be working on it uh, the rest of this evening, and then I will be working on other things on Saturday as well. So, Cameron, heck yes, I can't wait to see the new place. Yes, honkus ponkus, exactly. Yep. yep. Um, I don't think I'll like it. I watched Brian play it for like sixteen hours, so I know the whole game. Well, yeah, if you kind of watched it for the 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 lovely uh, subathon he was on, um, uh, since you already kind of know the whole story, mm. I I get that. I get that. So, yeah. I have it. I've been playing it. We played it the last uh, two Wednesdays, and uh, it's really cute. It's really cute. Very grindy, so I'll probably be doing a lot of the grinding off of stream and uh, a lot of the story uh, moving forward um, on stream as well. So that way it's nothing too crazy. So, but. Oh, you got a hungus punkus top today. <gasps> yes. T, I need a selfie. I need a selfie in the. I need a selfie in this cord. If you can, and if you will. No pressure if not love. All right, so if anybody else is chilling, I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all have been phenomenal. Y'all are amazing. You're phenomenal. Amazing. You're really cute. Boom, roasted. Uh, okay, Brian. See you, team. Nah, you nah. are really cute, babe. Y'all phenomenal. You're adorable. Y'all phenomenal. You're hot, you're hot stuff. Are you married? Don't start that again. Yes, I'm married. All right, y'all. So if no one has any other questions, let's see who is out there that we can read possibly in just a minute. I see a redhead coming in with hey, that redhead. light. What is going on, redhead? Hi, Jordan. What up, what up, what up? You have a Hocus Pocus projector? Damn, that's awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, he gets into my brain. I know, right? I know. He's just awesome like that, you know? Um, so, Reddit, thank you so much for that double like. I really do appreciate you, Jordan. I hope you had a phenomenal, amazing time with Mario. I do. We're playing Mario tonight. So, I picked up things, and he's picked up things. Oh, yes. See, that's the other thing is, is... You know, I, that's another thing I did not talk about. Uh, real quick, as content creators, we might do things like each other, just a little bit in a different type of standpoint, but it's not, it's not like anybody's trying to take away from each other. It's just, it just happens. It just happens. And when you look at it at the end of the day, you take it and you mold it and make it your own brand 
So if you ever see anybody doing multiple like different things across the board, it's not like we're always trying to take from each other. Um, it's just something that gets trended and gets brought in and gets done. And uh, we just kind of like mold it to what we can do with it. And we kind of just go from there. So if you guys ever see multiple content creators doing same things uh, or have the same things on their stream, take a look at how they've done it compared to how they run what they run. Um, it's it's pretty cool to be able to see that kind of stuff. Uh, nothing exactly. good. Facebook just abruptly for no reason. So no oh, raid tonight. Sorry. Oh no, Jordan. No, Jordan. Don't don't apologize. It's okay, fam. I'm so sorry. I've heard that is actually happening to a lot of happening across the board, and I'm not happy to hear it. Oh, uh, gonna have to bed. Really drained last night. Jacob, go get some sleep. I really hope you're able to sleep uh, better tonight, and you have a much much better day tomorrow. I'm so sorry that you are having some uh, seizures. You're having some of the health stuff go on. Um, but I hope you start to feel better soon. Um, that's a bit mad. Is it? That's a bit mad. <laughs> yep. Yep. It happens. All right. Uh, but Jordan, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I. I don't like how things are happening across the platforms. There's a lot that's going on um, across Facebook, Twitch, and the, uh, and actually YouTube right now. Um, so hopefully those who have control of whatever's going on fix whatever's going on. So, well, y'all, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed tonight on the Y series. Um, if you are just joining and you would like to play back uh, you'll probably be able to kind of skip through just a few things and there's a little bit of uh, side talk but all of it does go into basically what makes me me what makes the brand uh, the way it is um, ultimately why I do what I do uh, so you. and uh, well for everybody just uh, if you if you do play through it um, I will probably I'll throw it on uh, it'll be uploaded to YouTube this weekend um and anybody's got any questions about anything don't have to comment uh shoot me a message struggling if you're having anything go on i will do my best to be there for you if it's out of my way of helping i will always do my best to try to help in the way that i can uh just know that i love you guys very very much and um this is why i love the y series down to earth and real talk that's what i try to do that's what i try to do hey y'all yeah. don't leave me yet i need you guys to raid with me hi ryan please oh there sir please? how are you if you would like to raid with me i am going to be raiding uh if if i can get some of my warriors y'all we talk about raids and i know i have some of you that go in raids with me I know some off the bed and doing other things, but rating y'all shows a lot of love and a lot of support, and it actually uh, literally hypes up others. Um, whenever we have another creator uh, with like their community come in, so if you guys could do me a favor, uh, go in with a raid with me. We're gonna show uh, we're gonna show some love um heck yes to a football game ryan i hope you, i hope you have a good time at that game and uh we're gonna see uh who is live over here on facebook who is live on facebook that we can go show some love to and then we are also going to raid someone that's on twitch as well so i know some of y'all that were hanging on twitch have already kind of popped out on me um that is okay uh but we are gonna do what we're gonna do raids tonight we are gonna raid oh so love um what do you want to know that i can go raid i don't even know i i know they are on twitch so we'll see we'll see put the gamer link please i will i will Christine, love you. I hope uh, you guys are well. I hope you guys are doing all uh, good and well. Um, uh, part two. Yep, yep. I will be watching it Sunday night in uh, the Dojo Discord. All right. So over here on Facebook, there's not a lot. Uh, I don't live in here. 
not live over here. One second. Oh, and live. There's not a lot. Senpai is live playing Disney. Anybody know anybody live over here on Facebook? And people that are on Twitch. On Oh, y'all. Let's go say hi to Chris. Oh, no, I just did. I just raided him. You know what? We're going to say hi to D. Um, we're going to go raid Mr. D. Killer D, he is playing Fortnite. So, Killer D is, I'm just going to say, he's not family friendly. Uh, so, if you've got kids hanging out with you, just letting you know. I love him to death. But uh, he he's normally nice and calm a little bit whenever we go say hi to him. Or at least when we say hi to him. Uh, but just a fair warning, they are playing Fortnite. They do get into it. There's sometimes a few little language bear, language things, but um, I we're gonna go say hi to him. He was hanging out in the chat earlier. I love D. He's got a heart of gold. He does a lot of stuff for Great the communities, yes. uh, other content creators. He's helped out. So y'all, we're gonna go show some love and go say hi to Kill D over here on Facebook. Do me a favor. Um, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna pop this thing and in chat. I, I'm hearing the stories coming out, man. Pop his uh thing in chat for you guys. Um, I can't. Oh uh, well, I'm gonna cancel the raid. I cancel it because I'm going to pin this. Yeah, All right, so, so I went ahead and put the gamer link. Uh, it is under the pin comment for you. This is where we're going. <laughs> Kill a 